Hello and welcome everyone to the fourth lecture of Infinite series. So today we will be discussing the ratio test and the root test. Last lecture we studied about the comparison test and a few examples based on it. So today we will study the ratio test and the root test and we will see some examples based on it. So let's begin. So first thing is we will define what the ratio test is. So it states that if u n is a positive term series and limit n tending to infinity u n upon u n plus one is L, then it is convergent if L that is limit is greater than one. It is divergent if L is less than one and the test fails for L equal to one. So you will have two questions. First, how do we get this? And second, why does the test fail for L equal to one? So basically in ratio test, it is based on the notion of geometric series. In geometric series, we have un equal to a into r to the power n. And we know that we can determine the value of the convergence or divergence based upon the value of r. That is the common ratio. Uh, if you have not checked my video about the geometric series, please check it out. So you will get a better idea of what we are talking here. So if we have a un and if we have a un plus one, that is the n plus one x term after the nth term. And if we take the ratio, so if it is a geometric series, it is not exactly a geometric series, but as the value of n tends to infinity, as it gets greater and greater, the it behaves like a geometric series. And based on that, we determine that whether the series is convergent or divergent. So I'll make these two things clear when we uh, solve the following example. So the example is right here. So we have to solve this based upon the ratio test. So first thing will be to find the UN. So this is the UN here, nine by eight. That is we have taken a bracket here and a bracket here and we have got this. This is just to make our calculations simpler. So from the uh, nth term, we get the n plus one nth term. We take the ratio, put the limit, and we get eight by nine, which is less than one. And according to the ratio test, it will be divergent. So now I was talking about geometric series, right? So if you carefully look at the un, it is something to the power n. Like the geometric series, we had a into r to the power n. That was the common representation. So here our a is one and our r is nine by eight. So nine by eight is definitely greater than one. And we studied in that video that if r is greater than or equal to one, the series is divergent. So hence we can say that ratio test is derived from the geometric series test. And you can check that video and you will get a better idea of these things. So now let us solve a different kind of example. So I would encourage you to pause the video here and try this because this is a new kind of example. Okay, so here is the solution. First, we will try to simplify this expression and uh, try to get the value of un. So for that, we will write it 2x raised to 0 by 1, 3x raised to 1 by 2 and all this as it is. So you will see the pattern here. The powers of x go from 0, 1, 2, and so on. The coefficients are 2, 3, 4, and so on. And the denominator is 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we take this n, this will be n plus 1, and this will be n minus 1. So that is what we have written here that un is n plus 1 into x raised to n minus 1. And n plus 1 at term, we can be simply found out by uh, replacing this n with uh, n plus 1, and we will get this. So now as we have been doing limit un upon un plus one and this is simple math taking this up this down and solving we cancel this out and we are left with one by x. So now we have to find the condition under which this series will be convergent and divergent. So one thing is clear that our x is the variable here uh, because all other things that is n we have taken into account that n goes from one till infinity. So uh, everything depends upon the value of x. So like we have studied in the ratio test that if the limit is less than one, 
the value of the series will be convergent if it is greater than one it will be divergent so we will apply the same thing that it is less than one so one by x is less than one so that implies if we uh, reverse the inequality we will get x greater than one and we know that if limit is less than one series is divergent so for x greater than one series will be divergent similarly the case for convergence that is the total opposite that one by x is greater than one implying x is less than one and that series is convergent. So we cannot leave the answer here. We have to find what happens if x is equal to 1. So best way, plug in 1 here. So our un will be n plus 1 by n. And n plus 1 by n can be simply found out by the divergence test. Because the limit will turn out to be 1. Which is a non-zero term. So by divergence test we can say that the series is divergent for x equal to 1. So our final answer will be x greater than or equal to 1 series is divergent x less than 1 the series is convergent so this was all about the ratio test now we move on to the root test so the root is pretty similar to the ratio test just that instead of taking the ratio this time we are taking the nth root so you will have a question that why the nth root now again the concept of geometric series that we have something inside here and we are taking the nth power of it so uh, just to make it in the form of a r to the power n and uh, the next question is does this test also fail for l equal to 1 that is limit equal to 1 answer is yes because it is derived from the ratio test and thus the root test also fails for limit equal to 1 now one important thing to note here is that um, all the tests we have seen before that is comparison test or divergence test or geometric test uh, everywhere you must have noticed that when limit is less than one the series is divergent but in case of root test the limit is con if less than one if it's less than one the it is convergent and not divergent it is the total opposite case that if it's greater than one it is divergent but there it used to be convergent so this is an important thing you might want to know now we move our first example move to our first example so now you might have a question that how do you know where to apply the root test and where to apply the uh, ratio test so uh, when you are applying root test you will know by seeing the example you will have somewhere you will have a power of n and like in this case you have n square um, you will see another example after this you will clearly uh, see a uh, power of n in the un so you will know that you will have to apply the root test um, you can also try and apply ratio test in this but it will become very cumbersome and you will waste a lot of your time so whenever you see a power of n go for the root test whenever you see numerator and denominator and you think that they will cancel out if you take the n, n plus 1 x term then go for the ratio test so now solving this as our method goes, find the un first, take the nth power, and you will be left with this. Plug it into limit n tending to infinity, you will get the value of uh, the limit equal to 1 by. So, uh, this is a standard limit, and we solve this by the uh, uh, theorems of limit. You will uh, get them on internet, or if you want, uh, I will show you how we do this but for the moment it is 1 by e which is less than 1 and we say that the series is convergent as it is less than 1. So uh, just try the next example. It is similar to the second example of ratio test. Okay so here again we find un take the nth root and we are left with this. So, in, if you see this question, you will clearly get an idea that you will have to apply the root test because you have power of n. And if it was not there, the calculation will become much simpler. So plug this into the limit, you are left with only x. And now as our thing goes that if limit is less than 1, series is convergent. If x is greater than 1, the series will be divergent. So here we have an extra condition in x greater than 0. So we have taken into account for that less than one convergent, greater than one divergent. 
now again for x equal to 1 we will have to find the value so we will put a 1 here and you will have of uh, un equal to n plus n upon n plus 1 whole to the power n okay so take the n common and uh, we have will be left with this now plug this into limit and tending to infinity again you will get 1 by e and thus we can say that uh, the limit which less than 1 and series is convergent for x equal to 1 so um, your final answer will be 0 less than x less than equal to 1 series is convergent and x greater than 1 series is divergent. So this was all about the ratio test and the root test. Uh, you can find more examples on the internet or in some books and try to practice more examples because more the examples you solve the more easier you will get that uh, what test to apply when. So thank you. That is all. In the next lecture, we will uh, see about the Lebanese test and the Cauchy's integral test. Till then, see you.